Welcome back. We continue the reading and reflection sessions on the Mahabharata. During these sessions, we read primarily from the English translation of the Mahabharata by Srimati Kamala Subramanyam and published by the Bhavans Book University. Today is March 16th, 2022 and we are reading from chapter 2 titled 16 years later. 16 years had gone by. There are crushed hearts that will not break and the king's plight was such. His life was now empty. Life had lost all meaning, but that did not in any way affect his rule. He was an ideal king. The people were happy under his rule. His only pleasure as of yore was hunting. He would always be haunting the banks of the river Ganga. That was the one spot which gave him comfort. One day, as he was wandering along the banks of the river, a strange sight met his eyes. The river was not flowing. It looked as though something held up the river. Full of curiosity, he walked along the banks to see what was happening. He saw a network of arrows. The arrows had been so well knit that not a drop of water could pass through. Shantanu stood rooted to the spot, amazed at the sudden check imposed on the river. He then realized that he was not alone. Ganga, his beloved Ganga, was standing beside him with a sweet, serene smile. The king was overwhelmed. As we have seen in chapter 1, the king was smitten and was so in love with Ganga that he could not imagine even a day's separation. But he had spent 16 years without Ganga. And although he ruled the kingdom and although he was known as a good king, his life had no color and therefore his joy knew no bounds when he realized that Ganga was now standing beside him. We continue to read. He looked at her with eyes full of tears. He said, Ganga, so you have taken pity on me. All these years I have been lonely, so lonely. I want you. I cannot live without you. Please come back to me. You have forgiven me, I know. Or else you would not have come now. Come, let us hasten to the city. Make us happy again. Ganga looked at him with pity in her eyes. She said, My Lord, all that is in the past. I will not come back. When the sun has set on a day, it is foolish to ask him to come back so, the, so that you can live the day once again. The sun will come back, but only to usher in another day. No one can go back, not even for a moment. As we see, there is a very important lesson here in this context where Ganga is telling Shantanu and in, that, and in a sense also telling us that if there is one th thing in life that you can never get back, that is time that is lost. Because Although time is cyclical in our dharma, in the limited context of our lifetime, time lost can never be gained again. We continue to read. No one can go back, not even for a moment, but that is all beside the point. Let me tell you why I have come. Do you see the river being held up? Yes, said the king. That was the sight which held me spellbound when you came. Tell me, Ganga, 
who is it who is holding you in check you whom all the wealth of my love could not hold back even as they were talking there was a sudden deafening noise it was the roar of the river whose course had become unchecked from the distance there rushed up to them a boy a beautiful youth whose noble face was shining with great excitement he hugged ganga with his arms and said mother mother i held up the river again i was able to do it ganga looked at the king he was a picture of amazement your son he said then surely surely he must be he must be yes my lord said ganga your guess is right he is our son she turned to the young man and said devavratha this is your father salute him shantanu lifted up the prostrate form of his son and embraced him ganga said this is the reason for my coming i have brought your son to you take him with you to comfort you he is well versed in all the arts that a kshatriya should know vasishta has been his guru from him he has learnt the vedas and the vedangas from brihaspati the divine guru he has learnt political science at my request bargava the enemy of the kshatriyas himself has taught him archery my son is now proficient in all the arts i have fitted him to be a worthy heir to the throne of the pauravas i give this hero to you take him to the home of heroes so saying ganga vanished the king turned homewards even as he did 16 years ago but today he was not alone his son this son born of ganga was there beside him shantanu was proud of this handsome young man who stood fair to be the only obsession of the king who had been lonely so long together father and son galloped towards hastinapur this ends the reading and reflection session on chapter 2 of the mahabharata an english translation by kamala subramanyam this chapter titled 16 years later this chapter might end on a happy note but we will see that as the chapters unroll and as the story moves forward we will see that things will take a completely different turn and all that ganga had hoped for that and all that shantanu hoped for as well that devavrata would become the next king we will see all of that would be dashed